حداها الابل is an oral expression that can be defined as a set of sounds camel herders make to communicate with their flocks to deliver a specific message the camels interact with those sounds depending on the way that the herders train them الهوبالة هذه اسلوب بين راعي البل وبين البل تعرف الهوبالة تعرف صوت راعيها تجي على الهوبالة تنطرب تنطرب الناقة على الهوبالة حدا هذا احفظه قبل ما احفظ الابل قبل ما اجي بين البل لازم انادي الابل عشان كلها تستجيب كلها تناظرني هذاك الوقت انا اعرف فلانه فين رايحه فلانه فين ناقصه اعرف الابل كم موجوده وكم بدل كذا بدون حدا تبغى تجي انت تدورها على واحده واحده بس يوم انت ناديها هي على طول سبحان الله هي كلها توقف يما The practitioners of this element extend to many regions of Saudi Arabia, Oman and the United Arab Emirates due to the widespread of the camel herding profession over a vast area of the Arabian Peninsula. Bedouins in Saudi Arabia, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates are the ones concerned with Hida al-Ibl, and some tribes are known for this. They live in the desert area where they practice their grazing. Some live in the city but are still attached to their pasture and have paddocks in the suburbs where they spend their spare time and vacations away from the metropolitan life. البل نعرف اليوم تكون انضمان نعرف انه بغانا نوردها للماء تكلم لي صرنا اركب واحد فوق المطيه ودبر من هابي يا ماي يا من هابي يا من هابي يا Moreover some herders in coastal areas are concerned with al-hida such as in Jazan Al-hida is also practiced by women who own farms in diverse area in Saudi Arabia Oman and the United Arab Emirates. تعثل تما مصا. هذه من واحد. علمني بوي. وعلمونا خوماني والوالدة والأخوان. كل حنا فيها في الإبل والحيوان كل. كلن ينادون الإبل. يحلبون الإبل. عيشتنا هي الإبل. Camels are known to be highly emotional and reactive. To the herder's call, who accompanies his flock and always takes care of it. The owners of the camels are very keen to train them to interact with the voices of the herders to build a bond between them. The camel's owner and the herder are the ones responsible for al-hida practice. Their role is to call the camels to feed and drink, also to protect them in some emergency cases, if there is a sandstorm or other forms of danger. While performing al-hida, there are several expressions. Some of them are abstract, or what it's called, al-hubala, al-salig, and al-tawdih. Other sounds are a mixture between the voice of the herder and the sound of the flute, or what it's called, al -wash. Some herders use their hands during the practice to wave to the flock. Others use a stick for the same reason. The knowledge and skills related to al hida have been transmitted through generations from all ages and genders. By practicing al hida until the practitioners are proficient enough to practice it on their own. وردناه عن قدامنا طبعا التراث هذا وحنا على سيره قدامنا ان شاء الله ماضيين ونورثه على اولادنا ان شاء الله. Among communities there are gatherings and competitions held on regular basis to ensure the viability of the element. This led to the initiation of several camel festivals in the region. The old tradition of al hida shows the beautiful emotional connection between humans and camels. Thus, its inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage will ensure the sustainability 
of the element and encourage dialogue among communities on the national and international level.